Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. And it's time for another Way Back Wednesday. You know, this is a super fun series for me because it gives me a chance to look back at some of our older videos and I realize how some of these crafts just totally tickle me and this is one of those crafts that just does it for me. I don't know why there are so many crafts that we have done, so many cute crafts, but for some reason, this is just one of my all time favorites. It just, make me, it just makes me giggle every time I look at it. And so I hope you enjoyed this Way Back Wednesday. It is a groundhog pop-up puppet. Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today we're going to be making a Groundhog Day craft and it's going to be using some recycled materials. We're going to be using socks. So if you have any of those socks that have lost their partner, this is a great craft for that. We're also going to be using a paper cup, some stuffing, some rubber bands, some googly eyes, which I love. We're going to need a pen that has a point to it, like a ballpoint pen, and we're going to need an indelible marker, some scissors, and then the only tricky thing that might be hard to find is a dowel. I need a wooden dowel that's about 18 inches long. You're going to need that because your groundhog is going to pop up and down. So you are going to need a stick that's at least three times as big as your cup. That's the important thing. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to hot glue this stick into my sock. Now, this is one of those points where you want to make sure that you're very, very careful. I'm turning my uh, sock inside out and you want to be really careful here because this is an easy way for you to get burned because hot glue and fabric are not a good match when it comes to keeping your fingers safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the hot glue onto the stick. And this is always a good point to use adult supervision. Okay, now I'm going to take the toe of the sock, I'm going to spread it open here like that, and I'm going to place my stick. Now see how I've got it, it's kind of like a trampoline there. See how my hand is making the trampoline so that that hot glue is not touching my skin at all. And now once it cools down a little bit, then I can slowly, slowly, slowly get it secured in there. Okay, now you can see my sock is secured inside, excuse me, <laughs> my stick is secured inside my sock is what I meant to say. Okay, now I'm going to give myself some ears. Now to make my ears, I'm just going to pull up the corners of my sock and I'm going to take some rubber bands and I'm just going to rubber band these. What I like to do with rubber bands is once they get to a certain, once I get twice around there, I can usually dip four at the same time there. There we go. And I'm going to go to the other side here. And again, I'm going to kind of just take a little poochie there and take my rubber band, wrap it around once, twice, pull both of them so that I get it to go around four times here. The smaller the uh, rubber band, the easier that is. Okay, now you can see he's got some ears. Now I want to stuff his head. Now the one thing that's really important here don't overstuff your head because if you overstuff your head and it's bigger than the cup part at the top here, his head won't go down. So you want to make sure that you only make your head as big as the small bottom part here. So I'm going to stuff his head and I'm going to make sure that I get stuffing on both sides of the sticky. There we go. It's on both sides of that stick. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is take another rubber band. And I'm going to smoosh that up a little bit so that it gets up at the top of the stick there. There you go. You can see his little head is forming. And then I'm going to take another rubber band. I'm going to rubber band it around once, twice. It really only needs to go twice here because it's just making his little neck. And there we go. So there you can see there's his head. Now, of course, he needs some eyes. And to do his eyes, I'm just going to take a little bit of this hot glue, put it here and here, attach his little eyes, <laughs> actually attach his big eyes. There we go. And if I had any puff balls or anything like that, I could use a puff ball for a nose, but I'm actually going to draw his nose on. There we go. And I'm going to make mine a happy 
groundhog, so I'm going to give him a nice big smile with my pen. There we go. Now, if I want to, I can give him little arms, and I can do the little arms the same way that I did those ears. So I'm just going to give him a little arm, pulling that up like that. Got it around twice. Get this two to get it four. There we go. And on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. Pull a little fabric, rubber band, and now we're ready to make him come out of his hole. Now to do that, I'm going to need a cup. Let me just get this last little hand there. There you go. So in there, now you can see he's got his little bloop, bloop hands. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cup and I'm going to put a hole right in the center of the bottom here. There we go. So there's my hole. And then you can see what happens is I'm just going to take my stick and stick it right through that hole. And now I'm going to take glue and glue my little body to the outside here. And I'm just going to do that by taking a little bit of hot glue. I'm going to do this a little bit at a time. I'm going to start with the back because, again, I'm using fabric. When I'm using fabric, it's very easy to get burned. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, roll it down over top, making sure not to get my fingers into the hot glue itself because that would hurt. And we don't want any 911 calls while we're filming. Okay, and so now I'm going to go around again with the remainder. You know, if you're nervous about this, you can always just let it dry for about 10 seconds. That cools it down till it, it'll get a little tacky, and that's okay. Okay, I'm going to put that down in there. And there is my little groundhog. And so you can see that that's when he's fully extended out of his hole. And then when you want him to pop down into his hole, there he goes. So... You can come up and you can say, Mr. Groundhog, are we going to have six more weeks of winter? You can come up slowly. We're fast. There you go. Now, just to show you what else you can make, you can make a magical bunny if you wanted to. And in this case, what we did is I just took the cup and I took a black plate and I actually cut the black plate and put it around the top of the cup so that now I have a bunny and he can come out of the hat and he can do a little dance if you like him too for more eye-popping ideas come and check us out at sophie-world.com